today's tech tip, we will be installing the MyStyle software. This will allow you to customize your CS or CTS device, the background screen, EAS accessories, or view your data logs that have been recorded on your device. First, go to your start menu and open your internet browser. In your web address bar, type in fusionupdate.com to bring up the website. From here, you're going to click on the My Style Software icon. You will notice a download notification will appear at the bottom of your screen. Click on it and select Run on the program. This will initialize the download and bring up the Setup Wizard notification screen. Keep selecting Next and click OK when it says these drivers are not Windows Logo Verified. After this, your download is complete. You will now go back to your desktop and locate the My Style software icon and open it. This will bring up the My Style main menu. It should say connect your device to launch. If you have your CS or CTS device ready, then connect it to your computer using the supplied USB cable that came in the product's box. In the same menu screen, an icon should come up with the serial number of your device and an image of the screen you have. By clicking on this icon, it will open another menu with options to customize your display or view the data logs. For this video, we will customize the display only. Go ahead and select the icon to bring up the customization menu. As you can see, you have 10 screen options in your device to select from. At the top of this page, you can select any of the 10 options to be customized. I will select the second option with flames for this tutorial. Notice that the flame option is highlighted and the big CTS screen below has changed to show that you've selected it. To customize this screen, you can select the open image icon to the left, locate a picture that you would like to upload from your computer onto the device and select it. If your image does not appear to fit exactly on the screen, you can change the size of the image with the toggle bars to the left. By default, these bars are locked so that the height and width percentage move together to keep your image proportionate. If you want to unlock them and move the image by height or weight separate, you can click on the lock icon to do this. If you decide that you don't like the image that you have selected, you can go back to the default image, for instance the flames that we used, by clicking the default button. Once you have selected the image you are going to use, you can save this image separately or change the other menus to other pictures and save them all together for your backgrounds. It's now time to close the program, unplug your device, and take it to your vehicle to see how it turned out. Make sure all of the images are saved. If you have any other questions or need assistance with your MyStyle software, please contact our technical support department at the number on the screen. They would be glad to help you out.